<laughs> Hello, love to share some ideas today on cubic measurement and cubic weight. Why it exists and how it's calculated. Your typical parcel in a transport environment is measured via dead weight first. Why? Because the weight of a parcel impacts on the safety of the vehicle being able to transport it in and around your local area or secondly by the amount of fuel that is used by the vehicle transporting it. However there is a complication. Sometimes we have items or parcels that are very light but actually take up a significant amount of volume or space which restricts the amount of volume we can put into a vehicle. For instance a pillar, very light in weight but large fluffy and takes up a significant amount of space. So we use a second calculation and it's the heavier of the two that is determined to work out the actual weight utilised for building of your parcel or package. So how does cubic weight or measurement work? How is it calculated? What we do is look at a typical package and multiply the width by the height by the depth. So let's take an example where we might have a package that's 60 centimetres by 70 centimetres by 40 centimetres. If we multiply those three, we get 168,000. So height by weight by width by depth, 168,000. We divide that by an industry standard calculation, which is 4,000. By dividing 168,000 by 4,000, we come up with a cubic weight of 42 kilograms. Therefore, that package would weigh 42 kilograms in volume. If it was to weigh 35 in dead weight, the higher of the two would be used, which would be 42. There we go. Trust that helps. Thank you. Beep, <laughs>